semifinal number one in the SEC. And after a battle, the tip goes out of bounds. It will belong to this Auburn team, which is covered. Got Williams in the air, and the freshman looked like a veteran getting the Auburn big up for the first foul. Tom, he is the primarily because of 13 and black. Hubbard came in at 85% from the free throw line. He was elite early, then he moved in the starting lineup, and over the last seven games, he was taken off like a rocket ship, averaging better than 26 a game on 41% shooting from deep. That's five threes a game for the 5'10 freshman. Hubbard guarded by Holloway, and now they dump it inside to Tolu Smith. He's been around this league for a minute. Broome comes up with the block. Smith wins the battle. Can we keep 13 in check? He's lurking on the left wing, now relocating into the corner. DJ Jeffries for three. And he gets that one to go, just 26% from deep. I need a lot of room. Hubbard lost the basketball, finds it. Holloway now takes it away. The feed to Broome and a three on two. Jani Broome takes it himself. And Tom for a big guy, man, to handle the ball going full speed in transition. Of the Shots come from down there, and Dylan Cardwell fights for the rebound. Haiti Johnson, the whirling dervish, in for the first time. And he turns it over promptly. Make it a shoving match on that low block without fouling. It's an entire second team outside of Baker Mazzara. Still through it. by Jeffries. Tom, beautiful pivot, right? <laughs> Well, I talked about pivoting the pressure off of you, and that's what DJ Jeffries just did on their previous possession. Tom, 14 in total made baskets at the rim in this tournament where they've changed their defense in the last couple of weeks. Yeah, they came in on a four-game losing streak where they're allowing 15 a game. He's dapping up all of his buddies. Here's a dead ball contact technical. Yeah, right, the, the, the whistle's already blown, and that shove get off of me is exactly the right call to make. And whistles called at that point. Just come up with ease, and Keyshawn Murphy does not. After review, we have a dead ball contact technical foul on number 12, Black. Auburn will shoot two shots, and Auburn will, will get possession of the ball. Yeah, I thought it would escalate to that. And it's a, you know, it's a, it's not a, it's, it's a gray area, but you view it early in this game and say we're going to set the tone and make sure we stay in check, but. At the free throw line, third in the conference at 88%, and he daps up all of his invisible friends and around the lane. Now look at the number of free throw attempts this guy's had on the year, over 112 now in the season. And Bruce Pearl uses him now as a playmaker as well, not afraid to put him in ball screens and free up the point guard like Holloway to be a shooter. And another strip and steal. Give it to him. Davis shares it again, but it's... Moore had to pick up his dribble. Jimmy Bell Jr. with some width in the lane for State. Moore finds him, and the big fella, former football player, gets fouled. The team in the country, and just the athletic big bodies and the active hands, they swarm you. And they come with full body help. They're very active with hot hands around the ball, but, man, their bodies get them in position. Shaquille Moore is cut off by Donaldson. Great hands by Cardwell to jump in front of the entry pass. Got numbers. Donaldson into the paint. Loader good, and Auburn has fought back by making its last four. Don't let it become a jumping contest. Chris Moore sizes up a three. Bang! Just 19% from deep, but he's got off. Coming off of a 7-for-7 seven seven performance yesterday. Cut off shot clock at one. State does not realize it, and a shot clock violation. From the opening second of that baseline out of bounds under defense, Auburn just swallowed. He was 7 for 7 on his way to 18 yesterday and picks up an assist on the nifty cut from Sean Jones Jr. Top physical driver Cam Matthews works off of a hard ball screen by Tolu Smith, but plays off at two feet and finds a cutter from behind in Jones. Right, defensively. Baker Mazzara's floater. Yes. Bakes it in! That and the Tigers have their first lead. Tom, that is a long one with Broome. Tried to spin. And they get a reach in and a foul. Broome picks up his second at 8.01. Does Bruce Pearl need to sit him? He, he will, will because the de uh, the defensive depth that Cardwell brings onto the floor. There, there will be no drop-off defensively between Cardwell and Broom. Now offensively, 
You're losing your leading scorer and a difference maker, Davis. And now Hubbard. Whoa! Whoa. Missed his man. Holloway was there. And then he bounced it off of his knee and gifts it right back. Smith was injured in the offseason, didn't play. At eight, the women's field of 68 is revealed with bracketology and a advantage on Holloway. The rise and fire over the top of him and drains it. That is 6-7 versus 6-1. A deep two for DJ Jeffries. Over top. Left paw. Matthews gets downhill. Got some contact. They will count it and a blocking foul. They'll go to the free throw line. That point guard driving spot. He goes right into the chest and he wins the CHEST game. And that's so important in a big boy battle. And that defender that you're going to learn the game from the coaches that you have on your team. I'll be right there with you to help you learn. And man, has it paid off beautifully. For These two teams split the regular season meetings. Each team won on its home floor. Great defense by State again. Auburn had gotten to the post. Out to Donaldson from Williams. Buries it. They needed that and as poorly as Auburn has played. This game is tied. Right here. Now watch. This is why you put him in because Cardwell's not capable of making this drive and spin and pass. It shrinks the defense and allows Donaldson to get a clean three. So although Broom didn't score, Tom, Bruce Pearl puts him in to be a little bit of a facilitator and playmaker, and it pays off with a nice rock. Gets to the rack with two, wow. and he scores the tie at 31. Tom, remember that basket, how big they are in a close game. Three points in this low scoring affair. Janai Broom launches a three and gets it to go. Triple of the game gives Auburn its largest lead of the game. 34-31 Tigers. Six in this game. Broom, quick turn. There's the double. Skip to the opposite side. And the drive on the assist. Hockey assist, I suppose, from the double if he gets a touch. Baker Mazzara can't get space. And then a shove from jo Oh, then Why? another elbow on Why? the extension from Baker Mazzara. Joe Lindsay says, let's take a look at this. It started before the first whistle, and it continues to the Auburn bench. Just walk away. Wanted to let it play out before they finally had to blow it. Well, that's and the, then this. Yeah, that's the another dead ball contact technical most likely going to rise out of it. After review, we have a double technical foul. Zero black and ten white. They will offset. Auburn will get the ball as a result of the common foul. So, yes, they offset. Auburn retains possession, but that is the third personal on Baker Mazzara. Tony, the whistle's going to be tighter for the next couple of minutes. And Denver Jones will get the end one. Corner, it's not easy to get Rams Davis to open up his hips defensively. But once you do, man, you cover up that ball like you have to in an SEC Saturday afternoon football game. Is a, when they burst, something's they don't stop happen. the ball. And he banks it in. But something's going to happen. This be a really good option. Offensive oh, foul, it. charge the Matthews. You can almost see it coming. And Auburn knows when Cam Matthews is bringing that ball up with any type of a horn set, he's just going to turn the corner and, and you come off and, man, that's that's a tough one to go against Cam Matthews. Played for Andy Kennedy at Ole Miss had the same style. Broom, good pass yes, and the sir. push for Williams. To your point about Broom, can have a lot of assists today. That time he's stolen by State, two on one. Jones steps through and finishes off the window. Tomo was not a strong two-handed pass. The tree and tie that thing tight. Here's uh -oh. Williams for three. Got the roll, and now Auburn on a roll. Just a defensive mistake by Mississippi. Inside the Broom, the double is there. He beat it to the baseline. And now shares it to the corner. The three rims out. Chris Moore, the putback. Yeah, Seymour. Move and a chance for a break for State. Jeffries all the wow. way. Coast to coast. What an individual play by DJ Jeffries. I mean, misses it. Dove away early. Hesitation. Pass pro. Moore for three. Big triple for number three, Shaquille Moore. Yeah, because of the ball screen. Shovel to Hubbard, a punt fake on Williams, step back against the big, he is Bam. cooking now! That rise and fire, man, for a 5'10 guy, you just can't get to his ball. He's turned it up offensively, Cardwell all alone. Again, you come out of the timeout, if you're Bruce Pearl, what does he do? Cardwell got a piece of it. Jalen Williams pushes ahead to the big fella. 
Ball fake twice wow. in a two-hand jam. What a back-to-back -back buckets for Dylan Cardwell. His first two field goals of the game, and he is leading the charge in front of the Auburn faith. With a freshman behind the back shovels. That's late. Baker Mazzara puck fake three. Whoa! Big time shot, Chad Baker Mazzara. He lives on the run. No panic by Auburn. The shot clock winding down and no shot clock pressure at all felt by Ten and White. With half a minute to play in regulation. Jeffries thought the official was in a Mississippi State uniform. That's exactly what he thought. On the Jeffries didn't pull the trigger. There's the there dive by Tolu Smith in the jam, 9.7. I love the play call by Chris Jan. Just you fake one way and come right. And that should do it. What a run for Mississippi State, 8 0. Now, neutral floors coming into this one. And after stumbling down the stretch in the regular season, they make it to semifinal Saturday. Jalen Williams, a couple of big free throws. Freeze. Long pass. Intercepted by Baker Mazzara. And he'll go back to the free throw line after Tolu Smith foul. Tom, the game within the game. I talked about it. Good team tomorrow. Baker Mazzara splashes down the first. They'll get a chance for their third against either Florida or Texas A&M. The state's run it. Auburn will play on a trophy and an automatic berth on the line for the Tigers tomorrow. They will take their emotion to Sunday. An incredible second half for Josh Hubbard, but not enough to carry him. The Tigers knocked down their free throws late. Both teams played with a massive amount of guts and fight.